It's game day on Ice Hockey UK TV in association with McDonald. Behind me at the moment, Ukraine and Estonia are in their warm-up ahead of their match. And of course, GB play today against Lithuania. They had a skate this morning, but they're minus Robert Dowd, the Sheffield forward. He was admitted to hospital with abdominal pains. He's OK. He's sitting up in hospital and the GB medical staff are monitoring his progress. But he will be unavailable for today's game against Lithuania. You can follow that game on Premier Sports with Aaron Murphy and Paul Lady on the BBC Sport website and Five Live Sports Extra with Seth Bennett and Andy French. And then, of course, keep up with the game on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram. And then the highlights and reaction will be right here on Ice Hockey UK TV. So let's preview the big game, game three for GB. We'll catch up with some players very shortly. But first, Pete Russell. Pete, pre-game skate over. How did they look? Yes, it's good. Pre-game's never perfect, but um, I guess the leg's going with... A lot of guys rested yesterday, so um, hopefully we come banging tonight. One player missing though, Robert Dowd, what's his situation? We're waiting to hear, he's a little bit better this morning, but he's still in hospital, so he's not going to be here today. I wouldn't think he's going to... I'd be very surprised if he plays again. Maybe we get lucky and he's here on Saturday, if we don't know, but I'm planning and uh, I'm not being here. He didn't so, look very well. So what exactly is the situation? They thought it was his appendix. Um, we don't know if it's a gastric bug or what it is, so they're... They took blood a few times and they're testing him, but he's better, he's, he's getting better, but he's ran down and he's de dehydrated. It's a big loss, he's been firing and, you know, I feel sorry for him, he's a bit upset about it all, he's having a great tournament and he knows that and he wants to be part of it. What does that mean from a team perspective? What have you had to do? Oh, we had to juggle things a little bit. Um, we need to juggle the PP a little bit, five and three a little bit in the PP as well. And, and he brings you goals, he's, he's an impact player. We've shown that, um, he started really well. Um, but we've got a good, we got depth, so uh, we had to juggle lines a little bit. And Ross Venus gets his big, big chance. He's playing good already, and now he's, he's here to play, and he can play. We know what Ross can do. And you're going to throw him on that CVT line, the Coventry line. Yeah, they're going to go together and go and shut teams down, hopefully. And uh, they do a great job of that. And they also bring a bit of offence. They're good together. Um, Were you reluctant though? Craig no. Peacock had uh, uh, yeah, scored. He's, Cowley he's had done scored. good in there, but Peacock will go with Clark and Myers, and maybe they'll come to life as well. They're all good players. And then um, Peak, Peaks can make a good pass as well. Clark, he'll feed off that, so we'll get something there. And Mosey will jump onto the right with Farmer and Shields. So, we, we, you know, we got what we want. We keep our line the same, John and Boxy and Lacko. So, there's not, it's not really killing us to change it around. But they're all good players, do you know what I mean? We, if we bring with A game, we'll win tonight. It's that simple. I suppose the other side of that is that you, you can maybe get that Clark line firing. They're probably the one line that, that maybe haven't quite lived up to expectations yet. I don't think it's the expectations, they've been doing other things as well in the game and you know sometimes it happens quick and sometimes it doesn't. But the team have won two games and it's up to the team, you know, it's if we can keep winning, we're here to you know, everybody's a bit down the other day and I was thinking, you know, we're here to win games, you know, and we're winning two games. It doesn't matter how you do it sometimes and we had, you know, Estonia played really well, we must respect that. They had that line and that line were pretty good that day. And uh, we had to work hard to get it and they done it. So tonight we play against a team that's really feeling good, Lithuania. Um, they're pretty quick. We got a lot of skilled players we've had problems with in the last two years but uh, yeah, i've got a good feeling they've got a great re recent record haven't they against gb i think they've yeah. won three of the last four yeah. games what is it that they do particularly well they work hard um good skaters they look like a little bit more offense this time um I, I think we have to i think we're stronger than them physically so we have to create battles i think and control the game that way a bit more and put them into situations they don't want to be in we don't want to let them play free so we'll make it a bit difficult for them. There's always a bit of drama when you come to an international tournament, whether it's on the ice, whether it's in the hotel, whether it's in the hospital, whatever. Is this all part of the challenge for you, though, of trying to guide this ship through five games? Yeah, it's, sometimes it's just a balancing act. You know, it's it's fast and quick, and then guys get hurt and guys get ill. Like yesterday, we we the living guys skating. Guys were some guys were hurt. Some guys weren't feeling well. You know what, sometimes a rest is better than a skate. We missed Dowd tonight. Batch isn't very well either, we'll see what happens with him. We had Myers missing last week. You just got to deal with it. That's why we have 23 players here. Evan Mosey, your third game now in this tournament coming up. It's a, it's a quick spell of games in this short space of time. How are you finding international hockey? It's a, it's a little bit different, I think, you know, coming in 
you kind of have a little bit of a, of a game plan and, and you scout a little bit of the teams, but you don't you don't quite know what they're they're really doing. So it's more you know game time decisions of, of systems they're doing, and it's it's a lot faster pace. And I thought it would be in a lot more skillful teams, but it's it's one of those things. It just takes a little bit of a adjusting to get used to and uh, and get used to the guys you're playing with. So overall, I think it's it's been pretty good. It's been a pretty pretty steep learning curve for me, but I, th I think I've been doing pretty well. Are you a guy that that kind of strives on the challenges of, of those steep learning curves. Oh yeah, it's it's you know it's great to be to be able to have challenges still and, and you know it's it's something good to, to, to reach for and just try to do the best you can and, and try to impress the team and the coaches. It's it's one of those things where you know you get you get kinda used to, to playing like you do in Nottingham, it's the same thing over and over and here you gotta come new systems, new players, new new everything. So it's one of those challenges, you know, it's it's really exciting to, to be able to try to, to improve as a hockey player. You said when you were selected how proud you were. How are you enjoying yourself with this GB team? It's an unbelievable time. You know, the guys in the locker room pretty much, you know, accepted me right away. And it's, you know, the guys, the coaching staff, everybody. It's been it's been a great experience. You know, I can't can't say one bad thing. It's an unbelievable group of guys and, and how, how good they are at hockey and how skillful they are. And I think, you know, as long as we keep doing what we're doing, we, we can go pretty far in this tournament. Is it quite a new experience in terms of you've played for different clubs in your careers, but that's obviously over a long season or, or playoffs. But here it's, a, it's like an intense week, isn't it, with a goal in mind? Yeah, it's, it's basically like you said, it's playoffs. You know, you, you leave the, the Elite League playoffs and you go straight into this, which is exactly the same thing. You know, it's a playoff based hockey. It's physical. It's fast paced. It's, you know, it's, you got to kind of change your mindset. Like Andy said it when we first got here, it's, it's basically starting a new season, which it is. You know, we're trying to get a gold medal. And that's one thing we're striving for, and that's you know every game. I think you know we just got to reset and and get back to what we need to do to be successful. What about the GB fans? Because every year they come over to follow GB, they grow in number. I mean, have you found them? They just don't stop chanting. No, they don't. It's uh, even my parents. They, they they're here and they were sitting with them, and they said literally it's nonstop, which is which is good. It's it's good to come out onto the ice, and and you know especially against Croatia, they had a lot of home fans, and you know we get out there and they have the whole the GB army, you know, cheering for us. So it's it's nice to have them out here and support support the team and it's you know it's not the closest to England to be so it's it's you know we appreciate it. it's something good to be proud of and, and and we're happy they're here. Lithuania now this afternoon what do you expect from them they've gone unbeaten so far and they probably look the best team out of all six at the moment. Yeah they're a very good team you know they play very fast and direct and, and they got good systems and they, they pretty much control their defensive zone pretty well and they got a good power play so you know we just got to come out and, and you know play like we did against Croatia I, I thought you know, last game we, we came out, but I didn't think it was the best game we had. We, we kind of fell apart a little bit on some systems, but I think as long as we come out and, and stick to our systems, do the best we can, we'll be all right. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Ross, first of all, on today's game, let's, let's look ahead to it. A great opportunity with you. Coach Pete Russell says this is your chance to shine. He puts you back on the line with your two mates from Coventry. Yeah, it's good. Obviously, first of all, bad for Robert Dowd and the team. Obviously, he's really... I've been playing well so far this tournament, but it's unfortunate. But this is my chance to, you know, take my chance and obviously playing with Russ and Ash, a bit of familiarity there, and I'm excited. I was going to say, how, how do you feel right now? Are there more nerves? Are there less nerves when you know there's going to be a bigger role for you to play? Yeah, right now I'm, I just got off the ice and feel fine, but towards the game I'm sure I'll be feeling the nerves. Do you know exactly what role you're going to play within this? Is it just going to be a five-on-five five role, or will there be more to it? Yeah, five-on-five and five penalty kill. Yeah. Pr pretty much similar to what I do in Coventry, so I feel comfortable that way. And does that help, the fact that you know, and, and particularly having Chuck Webber here, somebody who knows you, knows what your capabilities are? Yeah, it does help a lot. I mean, obviously he's obviously told Pete the role I play in Coventry, and that's what I'm going to try and simulate here. And when you do that, is a a way that you particularly have to prepare for a game? Not really, no, I just do my own thing and hope for the best. What about Lithuania? What do you know about them? Not a lot really. I played against them in under 18s. Mm. I think it was a close game, but I don't know anything about their senior team really, obviously this being my first World Championship, so mm. so it goes. Do you worry about that? Do you worry about the opposition or are you the kind of person that just turns up and plays whoever's out there? Yeah, I just turn up and play. I don't really worry about what's going on, I'm just trying focus on my own game and obviously try and bring the consistency every night. What are the key things when you're playing well? What have we got to look out for to see a really strong Venus performance? Just playing a good defensive role, playing with speed, um, just doing simple things really. And today, 
is it you being a, a plus at the end of the day? It, would that be a great day? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's the thing I pride myself on most, really, being being a plus player, because obviously I play that more defensive role and the penalty kill, obviously, and trying not to get scored on on the penalty kill, that would be a good, good day. And what would a win mean for Great Britain here? Oh, it would be huge. Obviously, we, we're here for gold and we need five wins to do that, so it would be huge. Let's talk a little bit about this game against Lithuania. First of all, you must just be feeling great right now. Your first two-goal haul at international level, and you're in a wonderful vein, aren't you? Yeah, it's it's always nice to, to f from a personal standpoint. It's always nice to be confident, and uh, sometimes, you know, I mean, I was, you know, Ash made a nice play for, for for me being in the right place, and I probably won't score an easier one than that. But um, yeah, it's always nice for the confidence to be high, but. Um, I think as a team we set the bar of where we should be playing at against Croatia and I think that's what we need to be you know, striving for when we play Lithuania because they're a good team. Uh, last year obviously we lost to them so we know what we're up against and it's, it's about us being ready and, and sort of executing as a team. Do you owe them one? In some respects, do you owe them two? Last two years <laughs> they've beaten GB. Uh, I guess you could probably term it like that. Um, Absolutely. I mean, last year, really, if you look at it, we didn't play well enough, and uh, because of them, we lost out on gold. Um, and again, I think last season, uh, I say last season or last World Championships, you look at it and you think, did we play well enough in that last game? Obviously, we didn't. Uh, and this year, it's about making sure that we, we, you know, everyone comes to everyone comes to the party and plays. Is there one big thing that you're going to have to do better against Lithuania than you did against Estonia? I think the main thing is, is if you look at Estonia, they had one really good line, and it, you know what, they they obviously got the one breakaway there, and, and then obviously the one, you know, power play. I think for us, we need to stay out of the box uh, and probably control the neutral zone. Uh, it's a very small neutral zone, but if we can get, get pucks in behind Lithuania, I think we're going to get success.